What's going on, guys? This is not your ordinary guy. No, this is your motivation guy. The guy who was born to motivate you to be great, not only in this game, but also in life. This is your friend, Keith Allen, and I'm so excited, man, to do this video with you guys today. So, we're gonna be doing another one of those pro analysis videos you guys keep asking us for. This time, with two out of this world pro players, we got Liquid Mitro and LG Slacks. We're gonna analyze a few fights of theirs just to see what we can learn. All right, so throughout this video, I'm gonna ask you guys to predict their next moves, all right? You know, you can also be able to play mind games on your opponents, man, and be way more effective with peace control. So just think of me as kind of your personal coach on this one, all right? Speaking of coaches, our coaches at Pro Guys understand a ton about the game and they can precisely pinpoint what it is you need to work on so that you can just start improving immediately. So you guys have to have a talk with them, man. Check out our exclusive courses while you're at it so when you're ready follow the link in the description to save time and get better on pro guys also check out my new show your motivation show happening every friday pst at 12 o'clock man you can check out previous shows in our archives on proguys.com or on the pro guys app man bunch of crunch army it's time to sit back relax and grow some of my favorite candy what is that y'all it's that bunch of crunch now let's get this going all right, this first clip from Mitro was going to teach us a few things about dealing with third parties and super defensive players. So Mitro's vibing, you know what I'm saying? He's chilling. He's looking to get his W key on when he comes across a player above him on his hill. So with one tag in here and your opponent on the high ground, like what would you do here? Crank for height, turtle up, or uh, go for a jump shot? <laughs> That's right, guys. Like, with how much the opponent is peeking over the ramp, this is an easy opportunity for a jump shot. Mitro lands a nice, nice hit, and uh, now with his opponent feeling pressure, Mitro can just build up to their level. He gets a beautiful cone block off, and his opponent edits out like a psycho, but in the end, that jump shot to weaken them paid off, and Mitro picks up the frag. Yeah, that's dope. But after popping some shields, Mitro sees a third party approaching, and uh, they're trying to be all sneaky, hiding behind a tree. <laughs> but uh, if you were Mitro, like, how would you play this one out? Would you just shoot down the tree they're hiding behind, or pretend to build down to draw them out? Well, okay, so if you shoot the tree, you're probably gonna get shot back. So I like the route Micho takes. He heads behind cover and pretends to build down. His opponent sees those bills and presumes Micho fell. So they move up. And that's when Micho goes for some shots. Sadly, he wins, but still, it was definitely a fantastic little fake out. But either way, this guy builds a huge base. So Micho says, all right, screw it. And he just goes up for a little shockwave classic. He sets up two tiles away and he launches. But the first attempt doesn't work and neither does the second. And now the fight really really starts to kick off his opponent is playing it so defensively and they have a purple pump so one wrong move by mitro could spell disaster here right by this point though this guy has like 15 boxes of metal to hide in and they want mitro to pickaxe the metal so they can just hit an edit on him so i mean like with this guy being so defensive how would you play this one out start spraying their bills with your ar hide in a box and wait or disengage from the fight entirely Look, I personally would have just disengaged, but Mitro ain't scared. <laughs> Yo, this dude is a beast. He still has time to finish this kill. And so he creates space and he starts spraying with his AR. All right, you're probably asking why. Because his opponent has used so many mats already. They're probably running low, so spraying is going to speed up that process, and that's what it does. Like, it forces them to make a move. So they crash pad to height and again build up like a maniac. But rather than just contest, you know, high ground, Mitro just knocks it all down and his opponent hits the crash pad, landing several meters away. Now, have you noticed the change in materials? Mitro's opponent went from metal to brick, and now they're on wood, a massive indicator that they're running out. <laughs> so Mitro keeps it up, spraying and spraying, and so you guessed it the enemy runs out of mats and after that it's like shooting fish in a barrel <laughs> and mitro picks up the kill super smart play by my main man mitro there to recognize his opponent's overbuilding and really just take advantage of it and look if you want to evolve right and you want to play like mitro a big part really is about fixing mistakes so the easiest way to find out what mistakes you're making is with a vod review right luckily our coaches can buy review for you and give you pointers on how to improve so make sure to check out that over at proguys.com 
Okay, so next clip, we've got LG Slacks, who uh, still uh, teaches us a thing or two about evading players and some nutty, nutty piece control techniques. All right, so Slacks is in an early game with a pretty solid loadout, but out of nowhere, some guy camping on this Porta Ford beams the heck out of him. Slacks goes for a shot, it doesn't hit, and so he builds a two by one. After losing control, he expands out into a new box, and after editing, his opponent establishes ramp control. Okay, let me ask you this, man. Like, if you were in this sticky situation, and knowing everything you know about Slack's health and loadout, what would you do? Try to land at one pump, crash pad out, or just try to edit out the side? Going for the one pump is risky, since it's not guaranteed to one shot. And editing out the side could work, but Slack's opponent is inside now, so they could just chase him down very easily. So, the best move is to crash pad out and reset the fight. So that's what Slacks does, and it just keeps him alive. And here, I mean like right here, like I love how he utilizes natural cover to stay hidden. That little bush actually hides his position well enough to get a nice shot off that cracks his opponent's shields. With the health advantage, Slacks rushes in, but he gets beamed down yet again by a third party. So what does he do? He drops down and he creates another two by one. The two by one is such a solid box fighting move since you can just edit the middle wall and really just play you know, next to it always to have a spot to retreat, right? The third party mops up the first kill. Slack slams a decent shot. No shield break though, and the opponent goes to heal up. So with very little health and an enemy behind his ramp, what would you guys do if you were Slacks right here? Crash pad into their box before they have a chance to heal, pick up the mini and keep fighting, or run away entirely. Crash padding would be reckless and running could work, but Slacks is just gonna take the mini and just pop it and just keep fighting. Though not too hastily, patience is key, my friend, so he's making sure to take it slow and get a read on his opponent first. Peace control is also crucial, so anytime he loses control of a wall or anything like that, he'll just try to take it back. Unfortunately, he loses control of every piece around him, so again, that's when the crash pad escape comes really in handy. So Slacks lands and builds a few boxes so he has room to just work with, and his opponent eventually comes knocking at his door. Slacks builds stairs in his box so he doesn't really get peace control and patiently waits. But at this point here, like, how would you play this out, all right? Keep expanding and just wait for a better opportunity or edit the wall and just box in the enemy. Well, let me tell you this, like an opportunity as good as this can't come sooner. Slacks is going to edit open and box this guy in. But before we resume this clip, I have a follow-up question. How would you box this guy in? Like, would you edit the wall and build every piece in one move or edit the wall and do it piece by piece, resetting the wall often? So doing it all at once would be too risky on such low health, so the right move is to do it piece by piece. Slack starts with an edit and cone block to stop them from going up. So the next logical way for them to go is left, so he edits again, gets the left wall, and he even lands a nice right hand shot. One more edit and Slacks places a wall behind the stairs to block off his opponent's last exit. Finally, Slacks' opponent is trapped, so they just rush in and luckily with some unpredictable movement, Slacks cleans up the kill. Overall, bro, like excellent recovery and play by Slacks in what would have been an unwinnable fight for 99% of us just goes to show you, man, how vital peace control techniques really can be. All right, guys, so how did you do? Were you thinking like a pro? Hey, like I said, man, it really doesn't matter like how many of the questions you got right, because you know, we're growing and we're grinding. That's really what it's all about. What matters more is really like what we learn. So let's recap the main points real quick. You guys ready to do this? Here we go. All right, first things first. We saw Mitchell turn the tide with a jump shot. I likely don't really need to say it, but jump shots are pretty darn useful for dealing with opponents above you. Yes, I just said the word darn, one of my favorite words. Definitely, you gotta practice them, guys, period. All right, we also saw Micho fake out his opponent by pretending to build down as if he was just leaving the high ground, a move that's really useful for making camping opponents push toward you. And lastly, my family, Bunch of Crunch Army, Micho spotted his opponent was running out of match based on the fact that they went from metal to brick, then wood. Once he noticed that, he just kept spraying until they ran out for an easy elimination. Now, Slack showed us just how good crash pads are when you wanna be evasive, especially during situations when you're trapped and really just need to get out. 
He also showed us just how handy 2x1s can be so you can always have a second box to fall back. And lastly, Slax established peace control step by step, taking advantage of quick resets to avoid getting hit while he boxed in his opponent. All right, guys, once again, this is your motivation guy. That's right, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen, man. I believe in you guys, so don't ever give up. Keep going no matter what's in front of you, all right? You're gonna get through this time in your life and you're gonna be great. You're gonna be successful, all right? And lastly, I wanna say this, but I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to like the video, sub to the channel, and let me know how you did in the comments and tell us who you'd like to see next. And uh, once again, keep eating that bunch of crunch and let's get this going.